Hello. Hey, Mike. Long time no see. Mike and I had a blast at the Indie Fest, and we got some beautiful poetry from different people, and we hung it up, and we did a good thing. It was nice. I'm going to go all like Karen Top Gallagher or something here and bust out some props since this is a little different. I meant to bring those poems tonight that people were writing at Indie Fest with a little poetry share booth, but uh, unfortunately I forgot my backpack. This makes me feel like Ted Washington. You guys know Ted Washington? Yeah! Okay, this is called Head Trip. <laughs> Baby, you made me all lose my head. First, in your bed, and then it spread all through the street. And I just forgot the rest of it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start over. Keep it fresh, keep it funky. Speak the speech for me. Baby. on the top. Sorry, this is too ridiculous. Okay. Now I can't see. Baby, you made me lose my head. First in your bed, and then it spread all through the streets. And the next time we meet, we'll be somewhere just south of hell. <laughs> Okay, um, this next thing is, whenever I hear freak, I think of Dr. Hunter S. Thompson. Any fans of Dr. Hunter S. Thompson out here? Right on. I'm a huge fan of Dr. Hunter S. Thompson. I think he is actually a very uh, more nuanced and sensitive and brilliant artist than he's often given credit for. But he was also a very loud, proud, and avowed freak. And he used the word freak a lot in some very like, clever context, so when I heard the Freak for All poetry and writing, I thought of Dr. Hunter S. Thompson. So, I sort of cobbled together some different like freaky sayings of his, and there was this song, I want to say it was like the Lightning Seeds, does anybody remember that? There she goes, there she goes again. Right? Yeah, I knew that was the Lightning Seeds. Alright, so... This is called Let Your Freak Flag Fly.